Yeah, three appellate judges overturned Dar Nye Vale's conviction for resisting arrest, saying he should get a new trial, though one judge went even further. In a scathing 59 pages, Judge George Fearing called the case and charges against Dar Nye Vale infected with racism. That dissented in part from the majority opinion overturning the conviction, saying Vale's right to present a defense was violated. You oh. stop right now! You do no, I'm not doing like that. Vale was arrested in August 2019 after a woman called 911 claiming he kissed her without permission. Vale was later found not guilty of assaulting her, but was convicted of resisting arrest. At trial, a Spokane County judge allowed the jury to see video of the arrest, but not hear it. And the trial judge suppressed his statement when he was face down on the ground under three white police officers, with one of those officers literally having his knee on this black man's neck. Lila Silverstein represented Vale on appeal. She agrees with Judge Fearing's criticisms, which claimed racial bigotry permeated the case from the moment of the 911 call. You oh. stop right now! You do not Back need up. to no, I'm not doing like that. In that video, shot by the woman who originally called police, you can hear her tell deputies to stop. Judge Fearing criticized deputies, but also the woman who called them. Quote, we pejoratively label these women with the moniker Karen, he wrote. But then the police responded in a gross overreaction. Numerous police officers arrived and threw Mr. Vale to the ground violently and started beating him with their batons. In a statement, Spokane County Sheriff John Knowles says the opinion appears to be based on wokeism, judicial activism, and the dissenter's personal view run amok not established law. Fearing rights, racism runs throughout Spokane County law enforcement and the prosecutor's office, pointing out prior comments from prosecuting attorney Larry Haskell's wife, calling herself a white nationalist and using racial slurs. In a statement, Haskell said, allegations bolstered in part by facts outside the court record are a poor basis for indictment of anyone for any reason. Now, just within the last half hour, we have learned the prosecutor will not retry this case and has dismissed the charge of resisting arrest. You can read the full statements from Knowles and Haskell, plus that court's full opinion at Krem.com. Shannon Mowdy, Krem 2 News.